Entrance exams for international invalids have started at Kazan University. The admission campaign for overseas nationals is in full swing, and it can be prolonged. Why? You'll find out from this program. Hello, this is Kazan University. Why one of the oldest universities in Russia is the best choice to receive internationally recognized education? This is our topic today. Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technologies of Kazan Federal University is on, on one of the best scientific and educational centers. They have the black gold in their hands. Which specializations at Kazan University are available to those who choose oil and gas industry? It means that our university includes in 1% of the best universities of the world. Up and up in the rankings. What are Kazan University standing on the global arena? I work in the leading scientific and educational centers of the Republic of Tatarstan, Russia and other countries. Chemistry to the benefit of science and industry. Why are graduates of our Institute of Chemistry much in demand at the biggest global employers? Natural resources are a strategic vanguard of a nation. And the well-being of its citizens depend on how well it manages such resources. Utilizing the natural riches rationally, finding alternative solutions for their production, seeking new smart technologies for refining all. This is only achievable if you have enough qualified professionals in the industry. This is what Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technology does. Here we understand that oil, gas and other natural resources are extremely useful and valuable. And not only the fuel industry, but for every industry. The Kazanian School of Geology is known well beyond Russian borders. Its history extends over 200 years. During this time, we have amassed a huge theoretical foundation. But the most important thing is practical skill and research. Something to which Kazan University pays utmost attention. The Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technology is the strongest in the sphere, and not only in Russia. The Institute graduates receive employment over offers from before they leave their study rooms. Why are overseas nationals so eager to become oilier? And geologist Sofia Arlova has found this out. This is a baby mammoth greeting future oilers in the building of Kazan Federal University. A cute mascot for such a serious industry. We meet oil products every day, household chemicals, clothes, plastic, fuel, plants, rockets and even aspirin. The Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technology studies oil deposits, types of fields and modern methods of oil extraction. The Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technologies of Kazan Federal University is on, on one of the best scientific and educational centers in uh, areas of uh, geology, geophysics, geochemistry and petroleum engineering in, the, in Russia. Almost of a third of the students here are from overseas and the institute has cooperation agreements with Russian and international oil companies and oil field services companies. The students can intern in Russia, China, South American countries and other places. Currently, the institute has students from 30 countries. One of them is Natalia Grova. She is from North Macedonia. She says her compatriots who had already studied here recommended Kazan University. I wanted to study something different from usually, uh, like uh, something that we don't have in our country. I wanted to be different. And that's why I choose um, a specialty that we don't have, which is oil and gas uh, engineering. And um, I, I was so lucky to, to, like, when I got accepted. There are two bachelor programs, geology and petroleum industry. Geologists have many subjects related to modern technology, digitalization and artificial intelligence. Petroleum industry students mostly learn geological modeling and methods of enhancement of oil extraction. Desur Darona from Tashkent took up interest in the oil industry when he was studying at home. He thinks that this profession is profitable and has potential for personal development. 
Dasur is currently working on improving a data interpreter dealing with geological and hydrodynamic models. This is where you can succeed without high tech. Now I'm really interested in the sphere of geological modeling uh, of the reservoir. And now I work on my scientific work, uh, which is connected with neural network, uh, which should help to make the work of interpretation of uh, building the geological model more easier than it is now. The Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technologies processes the most advanced lab equipment. It has 17 laboratories and seven educational and research centers. Last uh, 10 years our institute uh, was developed very fast because uh, we participated in different uh, government programs. In the frame of these programs we bought and uh, constructed new laboratories, scientific and educational laboratories, which are the best not only in Russia but in the Europe. When I show the laboratory, uh, the device, the working, uh, I uh, interesting for that. This is the PVT Research Laboratory. Experiments held here can solve a number of global issues for oil and gas companies. This equipment can analyze experimental data to determine how oil behaves during extraction. Do temperature, thickness, volatility change. Another lab owns a unique device to conduct physical and chemical modeling of in situ combustion and steam assist gravity drainage. This help extract visks and extra visks oil. Experiments can be organized both for vertical and horizontal direction of displacement. Currently, the device is used by a master's student from Iraq. They came to Kazan just several months ago. The choice of a university was evident for them. I come to Russian uh, specialty in Kazan because of the University of Kazan, Kafau. It is uh, one university in the world famous in uh, oil and gas and distill. And because of the program, it depends on the country, it's very famous with oil industry. So that's why I applied. I thought that's a good opportunity and uh, it's a good advantage on me. That's, uh, that's why I applied for this, uh, this profession. At the labs, you can hear Russian, English and other languages. The important thing is that everyone understands each other. A mix of the native and other languages is also not a rarity. This is due to the fact that students often work in international groups. We have a community of industry students and geophysics students. Inside these communities they learn practical language skills because the composition of such groups is intentional and young people are involved in this work. Counselors, which are assigned to every group, also help adapting to the new life. Such support is especially important in the first few months after relocating to another country. But student support starts even before enrollment during entrance exams. You can prepare for them using the materials provided by the institute of this website. After the application, uh, they should uh, follow through the uh, through the examination, through the entrance exam. So the entrance exam is quite diverse. It covers several topics. So the main topics which it covers is math, physics, geology, geophysics, and of course petroleum engineering. So the types of questions that can be asked during this uh, entrance exam is written in the special program of this exam, which is uh, posted on the official webpage of Kazan Federal University. The next date is a master course among the specializations. Contemporary geophysical technologies of hydrocarbon deposit surveying. Geoinformation technologies in geology and geophysics. Geology and geochemistry of oil and gas. Stratigraphy. Geology of deposits of natural resources. Engineering geology and hydrogeology of urban territories. Extraction of visks oil and natural bitumen. Complex analysis of oil and gas geology. After the bachelor degree, students can continue their studies uh, in uh, two years master programs of our institute. Uh, master, uh, we offer 
eight master programs uh, in our institute, which based on the bachelor programs uh, and allow students uh, focus uh, the studies on um, areas um, uh, that appealed for them. The Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technologies has produced over 700 students from Iraq, Iran, China, South America, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan and Indonesia. The majority of them work at research labs in global oil and oil field services companies. And this influence our collective future. Sofia Arlova, Alexander Kuznetsov, Kazan University. Kazan Federal University is always up there in the rankings. The indicators are varied, such as education, research and cooperation with the industry. Each year, the university opens new major and plans strategic directions for development. What is the path for Kazan University and what are our advantages? We discussed with our guest, Vice Rector for Economics and Strategic Development. Marat Rashitovich, Sofiulin. Our guest for today is the Vice Rector for Economic and Strategic Development of Kazan Federal University, Marat Sofiulin. Marat Rashitovich, good day. <laughs> Thank you very much, yes. Uh, as I know, you oversee the progress of Kazan Federal University in international and Russian rankings. Yes. So, uh, which positions does the university currently occupy in the most well-known rankings? Thank you very much for the question. Yes, uh, the uh, uh, international uh, competition is very important for us and we began to prepare our strategic documents, our program of development beginning from 2010 oriented to the foreign economic rankings. The most important ranking um, for us is uh, QS, Coaquarelli Simons. Why? Because uh, it's, uh, we know that one of the most famous rankings is uh, Shanghai, he's the first. RVU rating, uh, then it will be Times Higher Education. But uh, uh, Shanghai ranking and uh, THE, they focused mostly for the uh, survey of the teachers, scientists and the students. So it means that it's very uh, difficult to manage and to understand, to prepare the strategy focused only uh, in the social and survey uh, methodology. And we especially take uh, into account the methodology of QS and it's included to our program of development. And we have uh, very good uh, results and success. Uh, of, uh, realizing of our international and competition strategy and now we're in top seven Russian universities and our rank uh, in the global uh, ranking is 347. It, it means that our university includes in one percent of the best universities of the world. So it's very important and our foreign uh, students, our foreign staff and also our partners, they are uh, uh, with us, they, uh, for, us it's very, for, for them it's very important, our policy, because uh, it helps us to make uh, more liquid and more efficient our diplomas, our documents and our research. You mentioned about preparing special documents for strategic terms. Yes. Uh, so for right now, what is the most uh, important uh, goals and uh, just universities' uh, important objectives? Uh, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's very difficult because uh, all the universities of Russia and all of the development countries, they try to find the stable niches in the very unsustainable uh, world. And uh, our strategy, it's not uh, only uh, focused to the region, not focused only to the Russian ambitions, to be a global uh, player and uh, in the uh, very important priorities. Our first priority is all concerning the healthcare and uh, the uh, healthcare. Uh, second one is focused to the new energy supply. Uh, third one is concerned for the new materials. Uh, fourth one, IT and uh, communications. And the fifth one, it's very important, all concerning the role of the human and increasing the human uh, potential role in the modern society. 
you said about different roles and um, so what about uh, cooperation with international students and overseas partners? Yes, uh, and uh, focus to the international and global markets helps us to attract uh, a lot of uh, talent and high qualified uh, students. In 2010, when we began our strategy, uh, as the average uh, number of the students uh, in our university is uh, a little bit more than 700. Now, uh, we are very proud that more than 11,700 uh, students uh, work and uh, uh, realize their ambitions in our university. Uh, and you must understand that it's the second result in Russia. We go uh, after the uh, uh, Russian leader and international leader in the recruitment of uh, foreign students, Rudan uh, 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 Institute of International uh, Relations, named by Patricia Lumumba. Yes, and uh, now uh, it's very interesting that in the policy of uh, attractment of uh, foreign students, we are in the position 191. This is the level of our competition in this sphere. Mm -hmm. Our interview can watch uh, internationally in release and uh, just partners who want to build a cooperation with our university, KFU. And to make a summer conclusion of our conversation, in your opinion, what is the most, uh, what are advantages of our university in comparison with other universities in Russia and uh, its closest uh, competitors in international rankings? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we try to realize all our uh, competition, competitive advantages in our strategy. And uh, the most uh, important, uh, our advantage is the uh, region. We based and located in the one of the most industrial and innovational uh, regions of the Russia. And uh, we are proud that the head of our region, uh, president of the Republic of Tatarstan, Rustam Nurgalevich uh, Minikhanov, uh, himself uh, 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 work as the head of the board of the directors of our university and helps to make the very close cooperation of our university with the uh, enterprises, with our society and with uh, the Republic. This is the most important. Second one, uh, in our uh, very uh, difficult uh, situation and difficult world, uh, Tatarstan is only the one, the region where uh, more than uh, 400 years, two main confessions live in the peaceful, in the peaceful coexistence. It's very important and you can see that uh, a lot of students, a lot of uh, scientists and researchers, they choose our university because they know that we have very to tolerant and very stable social society. And the third one is infrastructure. Uh, uh, at the last uh, uh, 12 years, we uh, uh, put into the infrastructure, uh, not only to the attractment the best students and uh, the teachers, more than uh, 54 billion rubles. And it helps us to create a, a very uh, a modern and very official and efficient and global oriented uh, research laboratories, uh, educational programs and realize a very good policy in the new uh, emerging markets. It's uh, firstly focused uh, to the China, to the Middle East and to the India. Marat Rashidovich, I want to thank you for your answers and for our dialogue, uh, communication and uh, wish all the best in your work and uh, just... Thank you very much because uh, we are proud that such uh, students uh, choose our university and uh, we hope that together we will uh, reach new uh, levels in our uh, in internal and external competition policy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. One confirmation of Kazan University's leading positions in many areas is its new world-class research center in liquid hydrocarbons. The center is consortium of leading Russian universities working in oil and gas technology. These are Russian University of Oil and Gas, UFA Petroleum University and Skoltech. The center's primary objective is to carry out fundamental and applied research in geology and petroleum. 
The research is conducted with the use of cutting-edge physical and chemical technology. The scientists working in eco-friendly, energy-efficient and economical technologies of extraction, transportation and refining of liquid hydrocarbons. It also provides advanced training for seasoned professionals. The equipment here is unique. Another important component is attracting young talents from Russia and abroad. The center is founded by the government as part of its national project in science. Chemists of Kazan University are also employed at the center. The Institute of Chemistry bears the name of Alexander Butlerov, the Russian scientist, the founder of the theory of chemical composition of organic compounds. He was one of the forefathers of Russian chemistry. This alumnus of Kazan University bought faith for its alma mater in the whole world. The Kazanian School of Chemistry is one of the most renowned among the schools emerging from our university. It was found by Nikolai Zinin, the man who synthesized aniline and forget a path of the chemical industry, and Karl Fuchs, the discoverer of ruthenium. Butlerov was their students, and his students Vladimir Markovnikov discovered Nathanis. And it's only a smart part of scientists who have worked at Kazan University. The traditions of famous researchers are not forgotten. And at the same time, the Institute of Chemistry develops new areas in its great science. We will speak about people who study here and there will find employment. One breath and you are healthy. This is especially true for those who suffer from tuberculosis. Some substances that can cure the lungs can be dangerous for the digestive system, which they get into with pills. To exclude this option, scientists at the Butlerov Institute of Chemistry of Kazan Federal University are working on medicines that can be taken by literally inhaling them. And this is not the only task that is being worked on at this institute. The institute includes uh, six departments and uh, more than 30 research laboratories and departments. Students can choose a research group and carry out research uh, work. Uh, they can impl implement uh, their own project startup. There are a hundred laboratories in total at the Chemical Institute. In some they can major scientific discoveries. In others they teach future chemistry teachers to conduct experiments in school classrooms. Department of Chemical Education prepares bachelors uh, of chemical education and masters in the field of method of teaching chemistry. In total, uh, 150 students study in these areas. For a student, I give a special attention, first of all, on adaptation uh, to our country, its culture and the team. At the Department of Chemistry Education, every student to feel safe and comfortable. Dilnas is from Turkmenistan. She has always loved chemistry and her mother believes that the best profession is a teacher. Now Dilnas is studying to be a chemistry teacher. Kazan is a very is a very quiet and beautiful modern city. Uh, the inhabitants of the city are very friendly and open. I liked our university so much too. It gives me it gives me knowledge, opportunities, and great conditions of study. There are not so many foreign students at the Chemical Institute, so their approach to everyone is literally individual. Here is a student from Mali, Kulibali. No, I had no uh, adapt, uh, to adoption because uh, uh, I was surrounded uh, by very kid uh, people. Uh, Kazan is very a uh, beautiful city. Where is comfortable is life. Now they together with their supervisor Dominica from Estonia are developing electrochemical sensors that will be able to conduct low molecular compounds capable of interacting with DNA. Developed sensors can be used in the clinical analysis, uh, environmental monitoring, 
drug screening and our areas of analysis. Analytical chemistry is one of the most demanded parts of chemistry because uh, every enterprise, uh, every governmental service in the area of environmental protection needs information about the chemical content uh, of pollutants, contaminants and so on. Uh, so that uh, every year we have uh, many suggestions uh, to work uh, at the laboratories. The Department of Physical Chemistry is also working on medicines. Their interaction with proteins is being studied. A graduate student from China, Zi Yin, is currently working on this. She has been in Russia for six years. She hasn't yet decided what she wants more – to continue working here in laboratories or to return to her country and teach chemistry at school. Uh, when I was at school, my chemical, um, my chemical teacher uh, taught the chemistry so interesting that I decided to choose chemistry. But now she is working on the problem of amyloid fibrils, which appear in the body either because the body synthesizes improperly folded proteins or under the influence of external factors. Then the properties of the protein are lost and Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes mellitus and other dangerous diseases may occur. Currently, exercising drugs are not able to completely defeat this diseases. And it's not just the active substations, but the mechanisms of uh, their delivery and interaction with the body. The primary task is uh, to understand the link between the ligand structure, its uh, inhibition activity and its protein binding ability uh, in order to find the fast and efficient ways of novel inhibitors. The problems of drug delivery are also dealt with the Department of Inorganic Chemistry. Helping people and improving their quality of life is something that both experienced scientists and young students are concerned about it. Our students uh, prefer to come to the laboratory of uh, inorganic and coordination compounds uh, including uh, polymeric uh, molecules for targeting uh, organs or diseases, uh, for contrasting or therapy. Uh, I think that uh, this direction is very perspective and uh, important for future, for human beings. <laughs> Recently, diseases such as cancer, tuberculosis and diabetes have been progressing very intensively and we are synthesizing compounds that allow us to fight these difficult diseases. In other laboratory, on the basis of the Department of Physical Chemistry, with the help of modern technologies, they can even determine at the temperature ancient people burned pots. So, centuries later, we discover the sabotage of the technology of ancient production. This is possible thanks to an ultra-fast colorometer, which with the help of light, color and density can determine not only the composition of the object or liquid, but also count its memory, the same varying temperature. The colorometer helps both in discoveries and in the applied field. For example, to understand why the production put on stream suddenly began to issue defective batteries. It's just that the composition of the new raw materials turned out to be different. There are several laboratories in our department which are devoted to the modern uh, branches of chemistry, which includes petrochemistry, chemistry of uh, catalysts, uh, biophysical chemistry, and the first in Russia laboratory of fast scanning calorimetry. These laboratories are among the ones which are most popular among the students, and because they are you know, devoted to these modern areas of chemistry.
The Department of Physical Chemistry solves a large number of applied problems for production. Now most catalysts contain aluminium oxide, but it is important to obtain catalysts with certain textural and acid-base characteristics of aluminium oxides and hydroxides. Now the Chemical Institute is developing two technologies that can give the necessary qualities to the catalyst. Now we are developing two methods. The first method is uh, the aluminum alkoxide hydrolysis, which allows us to use of recycled raw materials. The second method, developing technology of precipitation from inorganic salt, uh, implies uh, a waste-free product. Ahmed Mustafa from Egypt is working on technologies with his supervisor. He says he chose Kazan Federal University because it is an international university and the city is good. Already I'm three years here, here living in Kazan and I like so much this calm city, clean. Uh, this country, uh, people is uh, more uh, wonderful and uh, more uh, helpful us. The Chemical Institute has assembled modern equipment for research and development of new technologies. For eight years, the laboratories have been completely renovated here. A new building has been built and the old one has been repaired. 32 professors, 53 associate professors and 37 doctors and candidates of sciences teach here. They don't just teach students, they study with the latest achievements with them and set up experiments. At first we discuss uh, the, in details how to perform the experiment. Uh, uh, I help them uh, to translate um, uh, scient uh, uh, scientist literature. Today the most promising areas are those that work at the intersection of sciences. In Chemical Institute, in addition to knowledge of classical chemistry, students have knowledge in the field of medicine, biology, physics, geology and information technologies. Due to the high qualification of our lecturers, effective forms of uh, education and modern scientist equipment, uh, graduates of the Chemical Institute can work as lecturers in schools and universities, as researchers in scientific institutes, in the chemical, petrochemical, pharmaceutical and environmental companies, uh, work in the leading scientific and educational centers of the Republic of Tatarstan, Russia and other countries. The level of studying works is so high uh, that the results are published in leading foreign journals uh, that uh, are read all over the world. Students received their own research groups. Many of them participate in international and national uh, competitions. The Institute of Chemistry provides students with the opportunity to attend conferences outside of Kazan city and the city of Russia and abroad. Modern technologies and industry are exploring new horizons in the field of space, aircraft construction, new energy services, new medicines, catalysts, smart things, solving global problems in the field of ecology, hydrogen energy and other areas. Each of these directions requires new materials and substations with specific properties. And it is chemists who are able to respond to the demands of the new time. I'm Safiar Lova, Hafiz Garaev, Kazan University. Over 10,000 pedagogues are expected to partake in the International Forum on Teacher Education, IFTE 2022. Teacher education experts from Russia, United States, Ireland, Sweden, Germany, Canada, China, Israel, Uganda and other countries are awaited. The forum has become a mainstay of Kazan University. It provides information of the main trends of teacher education in the country and in the world. Representatives of more than 200 universities are going to discuss patient problems of teacher training. Other events from the university life in our digest. The admission campaign for foreign nationals at Kazan University continue. This year it is in both online and offline formats. The detailed information is available on our website. At this point, the deadline is on 28 July, but usually it is prolonged for overseas applicants. This is because graduation dates in different countries vary. The admission for foreign nationals started on 1st March. 
and the first wave of entrance exams began on 16th May for those who have already passed their application process. KFU students won the Fizitech Business Solutions Case Championship. The team created a project to predict prices of NFT tokens. The winners plan to update the project, increase the speed of algorithms, use NFT pictures, audio and video as components of the model, and even add additional metrics. The project was successful for objective reasons. There is our victory and the jury how the work in high esteem. From a subjective standpoint, we can make it better and faster. Second-year student of Institute of Philology and Intercultural Communication Alina Garaeva will represent Tatarstan at the Miss Global Talent pageant. The event will take place in Bali, Indonesia, on 11th June. Alina is the only participant from Russia. The Miss Global pageant will take place in several stages. The first stage was a video self-introduction and a video conference, where the jury paid attention to communication skills and English proficiency. The next stage will be organized in Indonesia, including runway works in national costumes, evening gowns and swimsuits. A meeting has taken place between delegations of the Tashkent Institute of Finance and Kazan Federal University. Over 2,000 Uzbekistan students currently study at Kazan University. There are also double diploma programs with Uzbekistan universities. Kazan University has its own institute specializing in finance and economics. That's why we arrived at Kazan to make acquaintance and pave the way for further cooperation. Plutarch, an ancient Greek writer and philosopher, said, Education is the only thing in us which godly and immortal. And the two things in the human nature are the best – intellect and speech. Kazan University provides some of the best education, knowledge and skills. Leading Russian researchers and science work here. You can see all this by yourself if you choose our university. See you in two weeks. We will talk about the infrastructure and living conditions for international students in Kazan. Be well and have a great time.